Last night, the Golden State Warriors were able to defeat the Boston Celtics 118 to 112 in a thriller of a regular season game. But it's in no small thanks to Andrew Wiggins. His ability on both the offensive and defensive end was key to the Warriors overcoming the Celtics and ending up with the victory. The first clip we got for you right here is one that really showcases some of Andrew Wiggins' offensive ability. Right here, you see TJD is gonna set a screen on Demias Keita. Keita was really good this game as well. He was really good on the boards and it was really tough for the Warriors to really deal with him on the offensive and the defensive end, just because of his athleticism. Now Wiggins looks like he's about to kind of come around the screen here and Al Horford's in pretty good position, it seems like, to kind of contest. And this is kind of the matchup mismatch that Wiggins presents. He's usually guarded by a bigger player just because of his strong um, ability, as well as his ability to shoot in the mid-range. Um, but he often is given a lot of space around the three-point line. And you see, Keita is kind of instructed to stay under the three-point line. And so there's a little bit of space that Wiggins is able to close. And it, clearly they're playing like a drop cover with Al Horford. And Al Horford is essentially just going to try and stay level with TJD. As the clip kind of plays on, though, what you're going to see is Andrew Wiggins kind of eats up that space a little bit and decides to cook Keita on the perimeter. Derek White is stepping in here to essentially help, um, but it seems like Andrew Wiggins doesn't really see that and gets right by him and is able to put in this tough one-hander over Keita for the bucket. I think this is something the Warriors really lack throughout this season um, so far is just the ability to finish one-on-one. -on -one. So far, we've only really gotten it from Jonathan Kaminga, especially while Wiggins has been out. But this season, I think we'll see a lot more of Andrew Wiggins taking the ball one-on-one. -on -one. Now, this is the defensive end. I think this is the more encouraging part about Andrew Wiggins. And just to set it up right here, 37-36, tight game. Um, Wiggins is on and stuck to Jason Tatum like a bug, and he gets this foul call right here um, just for the push-off, just to highlight how good he's been sticking to Jason Tatum, sticking the top offensive option. Um, now we have another kind of defensive play right here where Andrew Wiggins is essentially isolated, it seems like, on Jason Tatum. And this is definitely something on defense I wanted to highlight about the Warriors. Um, whenever Wiggins was on Tatum on, in the wing position, especially in the first quarter, the Warriors really wanted to double. And you're going to see Derek White kind of come over right to Wiggins and look at this. This is the Warriors blitzing. And there's a lot of reasons they can do that this season. I think one of the biggest ones is the depth of the team. Steve Kerr played about 10 players last night. Um, and he really utilized all of them to his advantage. Um, and that, that allows them to continually have fresh bodies, fresh blood in, um, and allows them to really exert all out effort on the defense end. And you see here, Steph Curry and Andrew Wiggins, two of the more likely people you'd think to blitz, um, end up blitzing the ball. And this kind of forces Jason Tatum to dribble a little bit back, but he does a good job of recovering. He actually turned the ball over one time in these types of possessions, but right here he doesn't. Um, but Andrew Wiggins is able to get right on him once again. And you see Andrew Wiggins is putting up a stone wall right here. Um, he's really making it hard for Jason Tatum to dribble past him. And that causes him to turn the ball over. And little Steph here is like, oh, hey, here's ball. You know, I'm going to go to the other side and hit a three and, you know, ruin your guys' day. And that's kind of what he does here. He steals the ball. Um, and they start running in transition. Now, next, on the offensive end, I think one of the other things Andrew Wiggins does really well is set up plays for Steph Curry um, and give him a little bit of the mismatch. He, it's here, Derek White or Drew Holiday. I mean, pick your poison. Both of them really great elite defenders. Um, but Andrew Wiggins is going to try to get Steph Curry open with this screen. Um, Derek White and Drew Holiday generally are just going to switch this because they're very similar types of defenders, although Drew Holiday is definitely a little bit stockier. Um, but they both are very attuned to the fact that they need to guard Steph Curry. Um, and so they both kind of immediately go on to Steph. But Wiggins does a great job of screening, like a little, giving a little bit of contact to Drew Holiday, but then immediately rolling. And you look how much space there is. You're going to notice a lot this season that the middle is going to be open when Steph Curry has the ball and it's high pick and roll because the, the big man just isn't going to be there half the time because they're drawn out by Draymond Green or some other player. So right here, Wiggins is faced with a choice. I mean, he's a very good decision maker this season so far. Only he could make his free throws, but uh, he could either pass it out right here to Draymond Green, or he could continue to obviously finish. And Wiggins is a pretty good finisher at the rim. And so he's just gonna dunk the ball right there and get that end one and get Jason Tatum a little bit of a foul. 
Now here we're closer to the end of the game. Six minutes left in the fourth quarter. The Warriors are down big. Um, Andrew Wiggins and Steph Curry are going to work together. They punt the ball out of Derek White's hands, basically. Gary Payne's able to get the ball, and they're able to run in transition right here. And Andrew Wiggins is going to finish in transition in a really strong manner over Jason Tatum. And his ability to finish in transition, use his strength to finish, is key for this Warriors team because, as I said, they're young and they have a lot of players who can go in and out, which means they can exert their full effort when they do end up going in. One of the last plays I just wanted to point out as a bonus play for you guys is just one of the last plays of the Warriors game. This is the key Buddy Heald basket, and Draymond Green's going to set a high pick and roll essentially just to get Al Horford hopefully switched on to Steph Curry. As we play the clip a little bit longer right here, we're going to see Steph Curry does get switched, and Steph stays really close to the, th to the half court line just to make sure that he gets Al Horford in the isolation position. Now right here, um, Jason Tatum comes up here as well as Derek White to essentially try and stop Steph Curry from scoring, make sure that he doesn't just dribble through the middle um, and easily score or pass it off to Kevon Looney. Um, but Jason Tatum, I think, is ball watching a little bit. As soon as Steph Curry passes here, passes him, he has to get back to the shooter and Buddy Heal. Um, but he doesn't. He's a little bit of ball watching here, and Steph Curry picks it out. Needle the three hand moves. And still ball hard. Basically, ends up being the game winning three. If you guys like that content and want to see more of this, please like and subscribe and comment below what you think about the Warrior season and what you thought about this Celtics game. Thank you.